We head now to Xingchen Township in Hualien, where a small re revolution is underway. It features a bookstore where you can only borrow books, not buy them. Visitors to Etude Bookstore can do homework, cook, drink coffee, and enjoy cultural events. It's a community hub for the small town where many other creative projects are also thriving. Disused buildings have turned into arts and study spaces. New businesses are giving young people a chance to make it their own hometown. Local baseball coach Hu Wenwei is behind the project. He says the more he does, the more possibilities he sees. A wide range of books sits on the shelves of this bookstore in Xincheng. An old residential building was converted into this special store, which only lends books, no selling. The rules of book borrowing are, you can borrow any book you like, and you can take as many as you want. The store is more than five years old, and thousands of people have borrowed books here. Many thank you cards adorn the store, expressing gratitude for the generosity of the store's founder, Hu Wenwei. As a book collector, he founded the store as a library for the benefit of the people of Xincheng. Many non-locals have also been moved to give books to the store, swelling its collection. The first floor has children doing their homework and a place to cook them food and eat. Now the store sells coffee and some stationery and cultural items. We also have lectures on the second floor. Hu, a native of Tainan, moved to Xincheng in 2015, becoming the coach of Xincheng Elementary Baseball Team. He made this library and lending store of his own books, so children had a place to do their homework happily. He lives off the drink sales. He employs young people in the store, paying them with bed and board. He hopes the store can inject a love of reading that will take root in the town. Later, I realized that there are more and more things I can do. So I started extracurricular classes and then dormitories for kids. Alongside the bookstore, Hu founded a cultural company which worked with businesses and government to convert a former Thai power office into an exhibition space. A disused kindergarten in a local village turned into a space to study arts and crafts. He even opened a tofu pudding shop, creating jobs for young people. We can be self-sufficient and work with the government, applying for funding to create a suitable living environment where we can live, work, and play peacefully and achieve a living wage. Whose projects continue to expand, he wants to help this small town become a hive of creativity and innovation.